So what is the plan to keep our athletes safe as they wait for their vaccines? I spoke with the CEO of the Canadian Olympic Committee about that and about his hopes for the Games. So David Shoemaker, thank you for joining us. These are your first games as the head of the Canadian Olympic Committee. You sure know how to pick them. What a start. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, I'm going to wait an extra year for my first games, but I do think the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games will be worth the wait. So that's that's the ambition. But I, I think the bottom line right now is, will it be safe enough to send Canadian athletes to Tokyo? We're, look, we're very confident that it can be done safely, um, that the IOC has put in place countermeasures, that the Tokyo organizers have really put their mind to how this can be done in a safe and secure way. And we're drawing from all the experience over the course of the last year in terms of how sport can be staged safely in, in an effect bubble concept. But there has to be a bar for establishing if and when you pull the plug on this. What is the bar? What is the measure that will decide it for you? The, the advice of uh, our chief medical officer, Dr. Mike Wilkinson, and public health authorities. But we're not going to speculate as to how high the bar is set. Uh, as we know in sport, you know, the bar can move a little bit depending on how people are jumping. Um, but we're taking it very seriously. We're planning in a way that minimizes our delegation to historically low numbers. And we've made decisions not to do things. Uh, for example, there won't be a Canada Olympic house in Tokyo. And athletes won't you know, tour the city or the country after the, after the games. They'll they'll compete and they'll come home within 48 hours. Uh, we, we have to do things differently. These games will be different. So you told us in January that, that you had communicated your desire to the government to have the team vaccinated before going to the games. So what what's happening with that? Well, I'd relayed the IOC's desire to see our team be vaccinated. We've planned all along as though we won't have vaccines and and we actually have not made a request yet um, from uh, the, to the federal government for vaccines. Um, we still think that there are important people in Canada, my, my children's teachers, for example, or the, the grocery clerks that need to be prioritized in this country. Uh, so we continue to wait our turn. Our athletes are adamant. They want to wait our turn. We just think that their turn may be coming up a little sooner. And, and we're hopeful that they'll get vaccinated before Tokyo. Um, just about every other country in the Olympic movement has either now vaccinated their athletes or has plans to do so. It's interesting to hear you, you talking about this because it occurs to me, should anybody actually be taking these risks? And I'm, you know, why should these games go ahead? What, what makes it worth it? Well, I hope it doesn't surprise you, Adrian, to hear that I think that the Olympic Games mean something. And and that it means something not just to the athletes who've set their, their life's dreams around competing at the Olympic Games, but that it means something more broadly to Canadians. And that in the midst of a pandemic, that these games can help lift, lift us up, inspire us, and be a real you know, beacon of hope. All right, David Shoemaker, uh, fingers crossed. We see you in Tokyo. Thank you for this. Thank you, Adrian.